XFL TV. Welcome back. South Floridian Zach Hoffman is a busy guy. He's helping out the community in so many ways. Everything from supporting medical research to helping build homes for people in need to performing arts. Well, we're going to meet him and hear all the great things that he's doing. Here's Zach. Zach, it's great to have you on the show. How are you? Doing well. Thank you, Dave. So listen, every now and then we, we do this show and we get to meet someone who's like, you know, kind of a superhero uh, who just goes above and beyond and spends their time making the community a better place. And it's always great to be able to have those conversations. So that that is you, my friend. Well, thank uh, you very much. Yeah, we're going to spend some time bragging about you. So before we get into the specifics, tell me why it's so important for you to, to give back. Well, definitely growing up in the South Florida community and having a lot of advantages that my parents were able to provide for me, but others might have not necessarily had. Uh, they kept me very grounded by keeping me involved in the community, in the Optimist Leagues, in the summer camps that the city basically sponsored, and all of those programs just don't exist today. So even when you were doing that, even back when you were a kid, did you have an idea that this is something you wanted to do? Well, definitely just Growing up in the community and watching everything that's going on in today's world, I just find it important that, you know, this is our community, so it's very important for us to be involved. Yeah. And it's very important for us to help maintain that community as a whole, because without the local support, without people stepping up to the plate and really making a difference in the community, it won't get done. So there's got to be people out there that take the first step and make it something cool to do. So I definitely believe it's cool to be involved in the community. It's great to give back and you got to support where you're from and be proud of your community and make it exciting. As, as the cool hipsters say, representing the 954, I yeah. guess, right? <laughs> representing your yeah, city. Right, you need yeah. like a cool, like, like a t-shirt with like a slogan, I, I don't know. Um, so specifically, what are some of the things that you do? Well, we're definitely involved in programs that have to do with the education, the arts, and athletics. And especially because those are things that hit home for me because I was involved in a lot of the athletic groups growing up. You see a lot of children out there just trying to raise money so that they can get uniforms to practice or travel for their teams. And, you know, at the same time, they should be in the locker room being able to practice and prepare for what's next, Pre be able to focus on the game that they have to be prepared sure. for. Yeah, and you did some work with uh, Jason Taylor's foundation, right, or you're going to. No, we're heavily involved with the right. Jason Taylor Foundation. We've been supporting Jason Taylor Reading Room. Uh, we help them on the internet as well as we definitely help financially as well. But as we came up, you know, we found other ways to contribute to these nonprofits because at first we weren't able to financially contribute, but we are in the line of internet marketing. So we were able to provide them website design and development as well as social media and search related needs. So you don't always need finances and money to necessarily contribute and give back to your community. It can come in many shapes and forms, including supplying your resources as well as your time. Your time is very valuable and insight. Any insight you can provide them, any guidance, it's great to be yeah. able to help. And I would, I would guess that people like Jason Taylor can sort of sniff out a phony. You know what I mean, right? Like if if you're if Jason Taylor's talking to you, but kind of gets the vibe that you're you're not really into it for the right reasons, they can tell. So so obviously these people trust you, so you've earned that credit with them. Well, definitely. I, we're physically there. We're physically putting in our time. We're putting in our effort. And at the end of the day, everybody's time is valuable. So it's essential to be humble and compassionate and come down and say, I can give an hour to this cause, I can give two hours, I can supply some resources that they're in need of. Mm -hmm. And you can give back, like I said, in other ways. It doesn't always have to be financially. And honestly, people's presence and being active and involved is almost more important than the other contributions that one could give. Right. So in addition to working with Jason Taylor, what are some other organizations that you're, you're partnered with? Well, we also helped with O.J. McDuffie's, the McDuffie Foundation, as well as the Broward Center has Ghostlight Society, which we're co-chairing. I'm personally co-chairing the event, and we're assisting in making the program happen. And the program supports the arts 
foundation for the children in Broward County, as well as we're involved in the Beach Bash, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, and you know we're just we're really out there and we're really helping out. Uh, we're proud of what we do because it makes you know the end day. At the end of the day, when we're working towards things for our clients, you know it's very important that there's a gratifying aspect to it, and it can come in many shapes and forms. You know, very proud of the fact that we've maintained a lot of the relationships and careers of our employees internally, as well as it's important for us to be active and involved in our community and to continue to, you know, make the team proud of what we're able to do for society and community as a whole, and we're in it for a bigger reason. Did you, uh, do you ever take a day off? Do you ever stop? Is there a clone of you? How do you do all this? Um, you know, <laughs> definitely you got to make time. Right. Definitely preach work-life balance. It's very important and uh, makes your work hours that much more effective. And I saw that you uh, you took some high school students or you gave them tickets to a Marlins game? Yeah, we supplied Blanchilly High School the opportunity to go out to the new Marlins Stadium right. and enjoy the game itself. We provided the buses, the transportation, and we're able to get them out there. I'm just going to guess the Marlins didn't win. I, I don't know. But well, hopefully they still had a, a great time at the event. Let's just not go there. Okay, let's just, let's just leave that alone. Uh, just a couple minutes left. It, it, what would you tell people who are watching, who are getting inspired by this and, and want to start making a difference? What advice would you give them? The first steps are to just keep your ear to the ground. There's always opportunities to give back. There's always opportunities out there to get involved. And just make sure that, you know, when you are getting involved, that you do do a gut check on the foundation and the community aspect of them. Make sure that the funds are actually going back towards the cause that they're supporting. We find that to be very important, and it's overlooked in a lot of situations these days. As well as we definitely, as an organization, encourage you to spend time with your family and children because you just can't do that, you know, and a lot of people overlook that. You know, you can only work so much, and we inspire people to take part in the community and take part with their family that's, as well. I think that's really cool, and I think the last thing on that is, and you touched on this earlier, it's not about always writing a big check, right? It could just be Correct. volunteering a few hours of your time to help build a house or whatever, and that may mean more than writing a check. Exactly. Yeah. And just going out there and being involved in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of people that don't have, you know, proper circumstances in their life. You know, whatever it may be that they were dealt with, you know, if they don't have both parents at home or they don't have a father to give them a specific role that they need, you know, kids can use that encouragement. They can use that positioning in society. And that, you know, just means a lot more than anything you could do financially. Right. Just being there for somebody emotionally and just make it happen. And if people want to get a hold of you, um, ask you any questions, do you have a website or a phone number? How should people get you? Well, you can actually go to exultscares.com and see what we're actually involved in, as well as if you call our office, you can uh, reach me. Chat you up. Yep, yeah. Exactly. Good to meet you, Zach. And uh, continued time. best of luck with what you're doing. Thank you, Dave. All right.